Lee Malvo, who grew up on these streets, in neighborhoods like this on the island of Jamaica that haven't changed for generations. Poor, violent more often than not, always on the edge. This is a part of Jamaica most tourists will never see. It's a neighborhood of the capital city of Kingston called Waltham Park, and it's where Lee Boyd Malvo was born. His father was a construction worker back then, in fact, still is now, and he finds it almost impossible to believe that his favorite son is one of America's most notorious killers. No. <clears throat> is it hard for you to even say his name? Very rough. You doing easy now? You know that? You know, easy when you have a child with love so much. And this thing, I'm to him. Really? Yeah. Yeah, um, no, I'm... Leslie Malvo remembers the good times with his son, Lee. Stops for ice cream on these streets, for instance. But he is fully aware that he bears at least some responsibility for what took place later on. I don't feel like for myself. Sometimes... For parents, and I know you're close to tears again. Yeah. Let's see. Let the tears run. The tears move. Free up the mind. Free up his mind from the reality that he had done nothing to prevent Lee's mother, Una James, from sweeping in and taking his boy away. Done nothing to prevent a pattern that would occur time and time again over the coming years. A pattern of what an expert says was neglect and violence by Lee's own mother. Did he feel like he had a, a mother who loved him? Did he feel like his childhood was, no. was nurturing and no, calm? No, 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 nothing no, like no, nothing like that. Nothing like that. He just, he felt that the, the degree to which she beat him, he felt that she hated him. You get to back to Jamaica fairly often. Carmita Albaris Lindo is a Jamaican-born social worker who spent hundreds of hours interviewing and counseling Malvo since his capture. This is her first network television interview. It didn't take long, she says, before a new and deadly influence appeared in Lee Malvo's life. John Muhammad literally stepped into the role of father. Literally. Yes, we did. Absolutely. Took him shopping for his birthday. He said, no, you are like an older brother to my children. You are their bigger brother. You have to protect them. When we come back. Hello, everyone. I guess y'all thought I was finished. <laughs>